What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. It is like 7.30 in the morning. Mimi and I just went on our hour long walk all outside, all the way to the pond, around the pond and back. Um, so it's a pretty good morning so far. Right now I'm gonna cook up some breakfast, make some coffee, get ready for the day. Uh, I got team training later today, but the good news is, is that in the team training, we're back to full contact, full side team training with very little restrictions now. So it's really feeling like we're back to normal. Um, it's been a crazy last few days, last few week of like having somebody test positive for coronavirus and then having to get everybody tested. But yeah, we're good. We're, we're going about this very safely. We're listening to all the CDC guidelines. We're doing everything the best we can. Fly. Okay, so here's breakfast. So we have that green superfood um, kind of like mix. So you just kind of put that with water. It has tons of vitamins and minerals. I'm going to drink this first. And then I have my normal four eggs, two veggie sausage patties, an orange, and a banana. So this is going to be my full breakfast uh, for today. I know um, a few of you guys were a little confused because in my last vlog, I said that we were basically going back to phase one quarantine. And it was a little unfortunate because we did have a player test positive for coronavirus. But... Um, the team and, and the full, like the USL treats it really, really well. And basically what we did was um, immediately once we had that one player test positive for the coronavirus, the entire team uh, a day or two later went and got tested. And then any players that felt like they were too close with him or spent time with him had to isolate, had to quarantine until, until their test results came back. So we basically waited, the entire team, the entire coaching staff, everybody got tested and everybody that retested negative was able to rejoin training and to start normal team training again. So we really only had to be in phase one or for the majority of us only had to be in phase one for a couple days, a few days. But um, hey, get down. <laughs> but we still do have some people in our organization that are still quarantining right now. So um, and now from the future, we have to pretty much get coronavirus tests every single week from here on out. And today is actually one of those days. So I'll bring you guys along and show you. But uh, but yeah, fortunately for me, I tested negative and everything was pretty good. So I only had to be in phase one lockdown for like three days until I could rejoin training and do everything. Okay, I'm headed off to training right now and it is hot already. It's already probably like 90 degrees right now and humid. So it's gonna be a tough training session. I think the, the temperature for today is 100 degrees, which is just awesome. Let's see. Yep, today's supposed to be 100 degrees with 75% humidity. <laughs> It's like 12.30 in the afternoon. I'm just getting back to my apartment right now. It was a tough training session. It was very, very hot and humid out there, but it was good. So I'm just gonna make sure to hydrate a ton, get some really good nutrition in. I'm gonna go and take like a quick nap, eat a good lunch. Uh, and then around like 2.30 in the afternoon, I have the COVID test. So I'm getting tested for the coronavirus again, like I said, every single week, just to make sure that you know we're not spreading it and, and we're keeping that bubble 
of like healthy players like intact. I'm all showered up. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a little hydration uh, drink just because it's so hot outside and I've just been sweating. You just feel depleted. Um, I only do this when it's like 100 degrees probably or more, um, but I just do something like a, a pediatric, you know, electrolyte mix like liquid IV, Pedialyte something, and I'll just fill up like a full thing of water, add in the electrolyte mix, which is literally just potassium, sodium, and glucose. And it just kind of helps replenish your, your electrolytes in your body as well as hydrate you. And it tastes pretty good, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna make a smoothie. There you go, sodium, potassium, a little bit of sugar. It's like a Gatorade almost, but without like, probably with like a tenth of the sugar. So you get a lot of the electrolytes into your body. Tastes good. Yeah. That is good, acai berry flavor. Okay, so in my smoothie, like usual, I'm gonna fill it up with water. I have vanilla protein powder. I'm gonna do two scoops. Two scoops of vanilla protein powder. An assortment of fruit. So in here is, uh, what do we got? Mangoes, strawberries, blueberries, it looks like. I don't even really know. Peaches. Peaches too. Just put a whole bunch of fruit in. Good. And then I'm gonna to top it off with a big, handful of spinach. And the last thing in the smoothie I'd really recommend if you guys like, uh, if you like chocolate protein powder, but you wanna have even more antioxidants and make it a little bit more healthy, is adding a little bit of like cocoa powder to this, like all natural organic cocoa powder. And that actually brings me to today's uh, sponsor, Santa Barbara Chocolate. So at santabarbarachocolate.com, you can get high quality bulk chocolate products at really reasonable prices. They have a really wide range of products from everything from white chocolate to pink chocolate to dark chocolate to milk chocolate. And they have everything from chocolate chips to little tiny niblets to powder. Specifically for athletes, especially you're gonna make protein smoothies, is their vegan cocoa powder. Their vegan cocoa powder helps boost nitric oxide and it also has a ton of flavanols and antioxidants. It's way better to add the vegan cocoa powder separately to your smoothie instead of buying chocolate protein powder just because the protein powder that you get that's chocolate flavored is alkalized which destroys a lot of the antioxidants so you can just get more benefit from adding that separate more natural form of chocolate to your protein shakes. A lot of the cheaper chocolate that you can get too uses the cocoa bean husk instead of the actual seed, so it kind of kind of cheap out. So getting this and doing it this way just gives you a lot more antioxidants and flavanols. So if you guys are interested in checking out Santa Barbara's chocolate goods, specifically their vegan cocoa powder, then click the link in my description or head to santabarbarachocolate.com and check out their goods. Thank you very much to Santa Barbara Chocolate for sponsoring the video. Okay, so now I have my smoothie and I have my little um, electrolyte drink right here. So I'm gonna drink all of this stuff up. I'm gonna take probably like an hour long nap and then I have to head out and get the COVID test. So. Then I had thought, so I had fashioned my hat back into my pants. Several hours in, it's time for me to find some nourishment. Now, these woods are full. Okay, so this is our one big trip of the day. Cause we just <laughs> don't do anything. We just stay in the apartment and I go to training every single day. Um, so really exciting stuff. We have to go down to Oklahoma State, like the medical center, get the COVID test. The COVID test is super simple. We basically just hand them a piece of paper to let them know who we are. As you'll see, I'll, I'll record it. We do a quick throat swab, which isn't the most fun, but it's way better than that brain tickler test. So get a quick throat swab, like in the back of the throat and then uh, that's it. We never get out of the car, just drive through the entire time. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty straightforward. And like, like I said before, the USL is really, really strict with their return to play, to return to play policy. Um, you know, if we want to have a season, it's like mandatory for the players not to go out to restaurants. It's mandatory. We can't do anything besides go to the training facilities, go in and do essential businesses, and maybe take a little walk or do stuff like that. So very strict with that. We have to get tested once a week. And if we can do this successfully, successfully, we'll have a season. So it's really, really important that we're, we're doing all this stuff. So here we go. Uh, Sheldon. Thank you. Let me get this stuff ready. Thank you. Okay. 
It's okay. Okay, we're good. All right, thank you very much. We'll Sounds good. That was better than last time. <laughs> she kind of gave you like time to. The last time it was like it felt like it was down halfway. And she did it for like throat. like a minute last time. She did time. it on both sides. This <laughs> time it was just a quick little one. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Now back home. That was our uh, fun oh, excursion so for the day. Fun. Yeah. All right. So I have been working for about two and a half hours or so. Just sitting here on the couch, answering emails, doing all of just the boring stuff that comes with Become Elite. Uh, it's about 5.15 in the evening. We have some leftovers tonight. We have like chicken, rice, and veggies. So not the most exciting dinner. Not the most exciting day, to be honest. Just kind of just chilling, hanging out. You're making our lives really fun. I, uh, before I eat dinner though, I want to do a little yoga mobility session. So probably like 30, 40 minutes just here on the ground, foam rolling, stretching, um, doing stuff like that. And uh, yeah, just because I'm feeling good, but this is like the peak of the week, like we're on Wednesday right now of the week. So we've had the hardest sessions up. And so now I'm trying to kind of like get some mobility work, um, do some foam rolling, stretching, loosen the body, body up because we have an exhibition game on Friday, which I'm pumped about. So let's do it. And I noticed something shiny on Stanley's car and I got under seeing what it was and I messed up my having some dinner. Um, I'm basically going with uh, my specialty of chicken, veggies, and rice. I mix it up, I'm adding some flavor. We have just normal chicken breast, I guess, which is like paprika, which is the white version of, <laughs> of spicing it up. We got uh, like a little packaged rice, it's like Cajun spice, and then I have a whole like assortment of asparagus, bell peppers, onions, and some mushrooms all in here. So um, pretty good meal, pretty healthy meal for the most part. Uh, it's gonna be weird having flavor in my meals because usually I just go normal chicken breast, can't taste it white rice. I know, whatever. <laughs> uh, but we're having this, and we're gonna watch a movie before we go to bed, and we're gonna watch The King on Netflix, right? Yes. The King, because we watched we watched Inglorious Bastards last night, and then we watched The Outlaw King the night before that. Great movies. Um, but yeah, we're going to watch The King tonight and then just pass out and uh, repeat the entire day again tomorrow. So that's pretty much it for the video. The, uh, the big news is that we're back, back to uh, full contact team training and it's looking like in like a week or two weeks we're back to full season. So stoked about that. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys liked it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, peace.